okay so now let's go ahead and create the mouth so I'm going to select these six faces right here and I'm going to press R and I'm going to scale those faces down okay let me scale those down a bit more let's go ahead to edit mesh extrude and before I do anything I'm going to scale that down by clicking on this little cube there I'm going to disable reflection for now. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to disable reflection. Now I'm going to press G to extrude one more time, and I'm going to move those faces back. And I'm going to enable reflection back on. And I'm going to select these faces and I'm going to delete them. I have a gap here between my mouth, so I'm going to select that edge loop and I'm going up here. I'll type zero, enter. And now I can start to shape the the area around the lips here. Of course, we're going to need more edge loops in order to be able to create the shape of the mouth so let's go ahead and go to insert, it, insert an edge loop now we should start to we should be able to start to shape the lips in the area for the mouth So we're just trying to develop the the shape here. Let's continue. Let's get some chin here. I'll move this forward. So right now it's a really raw look of the face, but as we move along, you'll see that it'll start to come along and it will start to look like an actual face or at least close to one since this character is really stylized so it's not going to be really we're not going to for super realism here we're just going to a for a face that is topologically correct and that it can work with animation and at the same time make sure it looks somewhat believable to a, to a real face of course or closer to the face of the actual concept. Let's go to edit mesh and insert another edge loop in there. It's a little difficult to work inside the mouth but when, when we want to make sure that it looks right. And that there's a way for, for all the teeth to fit in there. So we can start to shape the area around the lips here.
so we want to go ahead and start preparing the area where the nose is going to be extruded off so let me prepare that by moving some of the edges here and now let's look at these three edges for top and the bottom and what I'm going to do with this is going to edit mesh delete edge vertex and now we want to fix that area go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool I'm going to click one there I'm going to vertex mode and I'm going to select the vertices between these two and select that one I'm going to edit mesh connect components now go back to edit mesh insert edge loop tool I'm going to insert one here now go to vertex mode select these two vertices and go to edit mesh connect components we're going to do the same thing with the top go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool connect one here go to vertex mode with these two vertices go to edit mesh connect components and finally we'll do the other area one here go to vertex mode select these two go to edit mesh connect component and we'll have a more a more cleaner looking more cleaner looking geometry for that area instead of having some of the instead of having the previous geometry which which was okay but this this way looks way better and it should work fine both should work fine but I prefer this one So now we'll continue to develop the area here for the chin and it's starting to come along still needs more work but as long as we continue to shape it so that it looks right it should work absolutely fine so let's go ahead and start with the nose going to select let's see I'm going to select that face and that face so I'm going to select these faces make sure you select those and we're going to extrude those faces out so I'm selecting those six faces right there let me go ahead and disable reflection for now go to edit mesh extrude I'm going to move those out and I'm going to enable reflection back on and it's going to select the faces inside and delete them so now we have that nose and we can start to shape it our character has a really big nose so we want to make sure that we get that the character let me type 0 here for that edge loop since I had a gap there I'm going to press B to use soft selection and if you hold down B you can increase the, the size of the brush so we want to get that big nose that he has we want to get the character of that nose We still don't have enough geometry to get the nose exactly the way we want it, but later in the stages, once we smooth the mesh one more time, we'll be able to come back and shape the nose. 
want to fix the area here. I want to move some of those edges, the edges to the side. I'm not really happy with this edge right here. I'm going to get that big nose that he has. So right now it's just a matter of shaping it really basic just trying to get the the basic shape of it I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to delete it but now I'm left with this triangle here that I don't really want so I'm going to edit mesh I'm going to spin edge forward I'm going to press G now I'm going to click on this one I'm going to press G okay so that you have it this way now I'm going to click on that one let me go ahead and isolate the mesh so I can see this to that edge I'm going to press G until I have it this way and I'm going to one final and press G there just so that I have just so that I can hide that triangle there and now I can come back and fix my geometry here And we can start to do some shaping around the area of the eyes. So right now it's all about just continue to shape and make sure that the face looks the way you want it to look. Well, not necessarily the way you want it to look, but it looks closer to the actual concept. So make sure we're going to get the character of the concept. And at this point we still have some limited geometry, but I think we have enough so that we can actually start to make it look like the, the, like the concept we're using. So I'm just continue, I'll just continue to shape. I recommend that you make sure you take your time. I'm doing this as fast as I can, just for the sake of not going for a really long tutorial. So I'm just doing this as quickly as I can, but I do recommend that you take your time and make sure that it looks, that it looks right.
so I'll just continue to shape for the remaining time of this tutorial and on the next time we're going to continue we'll probably get maybe to the ears and even more than that so make sure you tune in for next time